Here's another great wig from Raquel Welch, and I'm gonna show you some tips of when you get your wig and it's straight out of the box. What's going on with that zigzag part? So I'm gonna share that with you. This is Raquel Welch. This is Play It Straight. Nice feathery fringed bob, and it's an average cap, and it's in shaded cream. So it's a beautiful color. You can see this beautiful shading is just goes so delicately into the rest of the blonde, this cream color platinum blonde, just absolutely gorgeous. So I like it to have that shading in it. So I'm gonna put my wig grip on and wig grip. So there we go. And this particular just came out of the box. So you're gonna see brand new, just took the tag off and see that zigzag part that's not a mistake. It comes to you that for a reason that way. So you have a mono hand tied mono part and a mono lace front that goes into the ear tab, uh, into the ear tabs and the hair is sewn. Can you see how the hair is sewn even on the underside of this, of this monofilament lace and then also underneath the ear tab? That really helps a lot with the realism of a wig. And the rest of it is machine sewn here and open wefting velvet it was adjustable tabs here and velvet ear tabs so very comfortable cap very lightweight and you can see just beautiful so what do you do with that part so what i like to do is i'm just going to take it in my hand and first i'm just going to with a wide tooth comb i'm just going to comb through that and brush that this out a little bit, shake it. And then I kind of want to shake it like this, see where it falls. Now you can see where after I shook it out and combed it, and then where it naturally went lay, you can see my hand through there, my finger. See how you can see? That's how sheer these are. That's how well-made wigs are today. And they're fantastic. Let's get this beauty on. Play it straight from Raquel Welch. So I like to grab the ear tabs and then move it around that way. And we want to have the we want to have this lace front four fingers above. So I want to pull it back just a little bit. So it's four fingers from my eyebrows up to the hairline. That's where it's the most natural. That's the most natural hairline. Look at that. This is out of the box. We just combed out that part line. Look how nice that part line is. That lace front because the hair is sewn into those tabs. I like to put my just gently. Put my finger in there and kind of pull those forward because that's going to give that a more natural that's why they're there is to give that front hairline a much more natural look so this is really cute let's take a look at the side it's a i say it's kind of a bob a lob that's fringy and textured and has lots of feathery layers from about here down. So you can rake your fingers through. If you wanna have it more straight and curved in towards the face. So some people are gonna find that a flattering look for their face. You can also tuck one side behind your ear And of course, take my glasses off. Let's get in closer to look at that hairline. That's so good. That's such a good hairline, isn't it? And that part, just perfect. So this is a beautiful blonde. When you're wanting to go into winter, Blondes are also, I just love blondes and whites because it just offsets so pretty with our Christmas colors, with greens and reds and blacks and winter white clothing. Just love it. This is shaded cream. She's gonna be a beauty. Look at the rooting. Look how that is. It's so, it's so pretty and just transitions into this platinum cream colors. Just absolutely beautiful. This is synthetic, so don't put any heat to this. That's a, a big no-no. 
and you could use some steam, you could use a hair dryer if you were trying to redirect some of this to get it to stay off your face. But if I were you, I would just use some wig wax. Just use some products, styling products for a synthetic wig, and that will be all that you need. A cute headband will be adorable. This is great. Look how natural that looks. Look what a beauty that is. And of course, you can also get her all flipped out for it to really show off this fringe and all of these different layers for really fun, flippy look. I like that too. And of course you can put both behind, you can put it behind both ears. Wear a headband, wear some cute clips. And she's a great wig, I love this. This is from Raquel Welch and it's called Play It Straight. Thank you, Wix.com, for sending me this wig and I hope you've enjoyed this review and any tips and tricks you learned along the way. I'll see you in the next video. Doing my darlings, bye.